Hi, this is Paul from TradeTheFifth.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Tuesday, the 19th of February, holidays yesterday. Um, now, today I'm going to go and have an update on all of the five hot stocks that I've got a series running in 2019, purely because we've got some profit taking to do some trading stocks. And firstly, with PTC, we have an entry. Last week was really great. We pushed through this shorter term resistance level here. You can see very small down here. Um, but the main thing is we're very, very close to the $92. $92.07 is my long swing entry here. And this is on the weekly time frame. So this could be on for, you know, up to 20 weeks, 20 to 25 weeks. So this is a longer term swing. Good looking. We've got some resistance here at $100. But the main thing is this is a strong bullish stock. This is why it's in my hot stocks 2019. We've got a really good strong growth stock here uh, and we're on for a fifth wave move. We want to make some new highs. Uh, so 92.07 is the entry. Fifth wave move target, ultimate target is 116. I would expect once we reach $100 we may get a slight pullback. Test the support of the cloud and then go for it again. So this is longer term. So PTC getting ready. Now Adobe, um, let's go to the four hour on Adobe. So we have the trade now with, um, you know, we've got quite a lot of profit in this now. We're at around about a hundred and close around a hundred and hundred and eighty percent profit times risk there. This resistance level is proving too much for it at the moment. What I've done then is I've just brought my trailing stop to lock in a hundred percent profit times risk. So we are risk free. We were risk free before we were just below there. But what I've done is brought that up to a hundred percent profit times risk trading stop is at the 100 point so we are at the 250 let me just move that out of the way 250.81 something like that that locks in 100 uh, percent we we can weather a pullback down to this previous support resistance zone there but ultimately we are looking for that big move up through that level markets are pretty bullish at the moment so this could happen so what I've done again just to remind you on the weekly we are looking for that big move higher uh, once we can get through this resistance level here uh, we've got the all-time high uh, up here and then the ultimate fifth wave target is at $300 long way for this to go yet we've got some profit locked in if it comes back down and takes us out and takes the profit we wait for support and we look to go for again remember I'm trading these five stocks as part of this series for the whole of 2019 and I'm looking to take as much profit as I can so let's get on to the next one UNP Okay, so on the we're trading this off the data. I just wanted to show on the weekly, we're almost at the fifth wave target level on Friday. Um, we at we produced an all-time high on this, and we tipped the top of our um, our channel there, if you like, uh, on the weekly for that all-time high. So I actually took profits on this. Uh, so this is the first profits for these five stocks. If we go to the daily. Okay, so I when it tipped the um, when it tipped the channel here, I took 230% profit times risk there. So that was a real that's a good start for these hot stocks. We've got profit locked in on Adobe of 100%. PTC is ready. That's a longer term swing. So we're building this sausage machine strategy through these five stocks. Now, obviously, I trade a lot more than that. Uh, during the year, but um, these are the ones I'm concentrating on. So this is the first profit. UMP took profit. Now this could push through and go higher. I suspect though on this daily time frame we may come back. This could be a sign. This weakness is low volume could be a sign that we're going to come back and test this previous resistance level. And if we do, 
I'll get another trade on a different time frame, part of my multiple time frame strategy. If it pushes higher, I'll wait for another pullback and then go in. But at this, at this moment in time, I'm really happy to take profit. Okay, into is next. Really, really strong looking trade this now. Uh, I've adjusted the trailing stop quite aggressively now to 160% time risk. So added that to the 100% locked in with Adobe, that's another 260% profit locked in, as well as that closed on, on, U, on UNP there. So we got this big gap up on Friday. Now this really was to do with that NVDA earnings being so, so good. Uh, this obviously helped uh, the whole sector, as it were. We did, we rejected those lows, but low volume. This could be a morning star, so it could gap down um, on Tuesday the 19th. We could have a pullback. Now, if that takes us out the trailing stock, that's fine. We take the profit. We wait for another go. But ultimately, if this keeps going, we have a target in here of 24730. So we've got a good target level there four into remember when we're tr when we're looking this off the weekly we are looking for a fifth wave target zone in that 250 and we're well on our way good looking trade again again one of those five hot stocks for 2019 we have got earnings very soon though so we we might just take that profit and wait to see but nvd had good earnings there's no reason why this can't this has had really good earnings in the past uh, let's go back to the daily so we've got earnings next week so we're going to I'm going to make a decision this is in a really strong profit making decision uh, position right now if we start to pull back um, I may just decide to take that profit wait for earnings uh, to happen and then go on but I'm going to see how the, how the market's open on the 19th and then make a decision after that so earnings is on the 21st so got to be quick uh, but if it keeps going, if it tips the target zone there, I think you take 250, 300%, uh, I'll, I'll gladly do that before earnings. Wait for the reaction and look, look to trade it again during the year. Uh, finally, Costco. Now, Costco, we are looking for a breakout to the upside. I've got this in my blend portfolio, Costco, one of my stronger stocks. Um, we have now had a bullish day on Friday testing this big support and resistance zone. So I put, a, I put an entry strategy together for this. So we have this current weak bearish move down, got good support here. Uh, now this bearish move will be over if this wave one it pivot is broken. Our entry for our black box breakout indicator is way above that. So this Basically, once we break this one pivot here on our Elliott Wave Indicator Suite, that tells us that that bearish move has failed and potentially we're going to go higher. So this is our first trade on Costco this year in the hot stocks. We are looking for a breakout. Remember, this sport resistance zone is really strong, but our entry is above it. Now, I've gone sensible here. The, the indicator has given me a 218.86 entry. I need to get above the whole uh, a dollar mark there. So 219.06 is my entry for Costco. 212.43 is the stop loss. Nice and tight. I'm only interested in the breakout. If it can break out above there, we've got some fresh air all the way up to 234 to this previous resistance level there. So again, just to recap, we've got an order on now for Costco, an order that's very close and could trigger uh, straight away on PTC. We've got Adobe with locked in profits. We've got UNP with taken profits at 230%. And we have got locked in profits 160% on into. So these five hot stocks for 2019 that I chose way back at the end of December. And um, just going to put this series together. You'll see all the videos down below this. Open those accordions and look at all those previous uh, videos where I've made these decisions and we're just going to run this whole series for the year and see how much money we can make on those five hot stocks that I chose. So have a great trading day, great trading week. Speak to you all tomorrow.